Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your mid-September general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card. But more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading. And also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. So when I was meditating, you guys are the only ones who had a, um, like a little hip-hop song. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, I heard the song Money, Power, Respect by The Locks. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to the song following the reading if you so choose to. The message that I picked up is that some of you guys are dealing with an arrogant, arrogant, arrogant person, um, but their time is running out. It, it, that's the message I'm picking up. I feel like this person used power, um, prestige, popularity in order to get things going in their favor. They could have been emotionally, verbally abusive. Also, this person could have been you know, always putting you in third parties because they had this type of notoriety, this type of status. Because I keep hearing status. Their status allowed them to live a certain lifestyle. Also, you may have stayed in a situation because of the status and the benefits that came with it. But I feel like these, this, whatever these benefits were, are like fleeting. They're dwindling. And this person is starting to realize that they have been a bit of an asshole quite a while, especially in you guys' relationship. I'm also hearing that someone could be dealing with a Kimberly or Kimmy, K-I-M-M-I-E. And again, that wouldn't be for everyone, but that is a message that I'm hearing. And as you can see now, my hand, ooh, my hand is itching. So it's like a saying, right? Um, the right hand, you is it receiving? No, the right hand is giving and then this hand is receiving. One of you guys know the saying. It's like either way it goes, one hand is receiving and the other one is having to shell out money. And so, literally, I'm, I kid you guys not, my hand is like right here, it's itching now. So, it's like somebody is having to pay out money. Somebody, I'm hearing now that somebody's arrogance has really finally caught up with them. They may have done something, and now they're having to pay out some type of money because of their behavior, because of their recklessness, their arrogance is what I'm hearing. And also, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like their arrogance is making them, now they're going to have to pay not only something that they've done, but if you are leaving this person or separating from this person, they're going to have to pay you. Vice versa, you would know how to supply as you may have to pay someone because I feel like something has came to a halt. Something has came to the end of its cycle and some type of balance is about to be restored. And it's not going to be done in, a, in an easy way. Okay. So let's part the deck. Change the card at the bottom. Do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, neither one of these decks have any reversals. So if I get any reversals, I will read it as such. Okay. So now at the bottom of your general energy deck, you have the hermit card. Yep. Pull back, retreat. Go within. Money, power, respect. This person at one point was like all out in the open, out there seeing. This person was like very popular, very well known. But now they're having to pull back because I feel like they're going through some difficult times. And I feel like this is going to be exposed during Virgo season. The Hermit is the major icon for Virgo. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo, some Moon Rising Venus individual. But more than anything, I feel like this is going to get exposed during Virgo season, most definitely. I always tell you guys, anytime we see characters in the cars with hoods on or like a face shield, like the armor is covering their face, it's something hidden. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may not know that this person is getting, is either they're going through something, yep. Yeah, I'm not even going to say getting ready to go through some financial hardship. I feel like this person is hiding some type of financial hardships from you. I really feel like that's the case. But it seems like on the outside, you see how there's a diamond right here? It seems like this person is well off, well to do. But I feel like a lot of you guys are getting ready to find out that this person is getting ready to really go through it. Because there's some financial hardships attached to this situation. And I feel like it's more so the person that you're dealing with versus you. For some, it will be you watching, but I feel like it's the other person, okay? So let's part the deck so that we can shuffle. You got an Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person. Okay, so again, I'm, I'm going to say this person may be entertaining a lot of sexual conquests, or at least that's how they were in the past. Because the Ace of Wands, it always gives me the energy of like the male genitalia, the phallic symbol. Like this person has a very lusty personality. They're very high libido. Because it's literally... the. Maybe because I'm a creep, my 
<laughs> my um my Mars is in Scorpio, but I do see it like this. Like this looks like it could be. I'm seeing this intuitively, like a, a wrecked penis, male, female. You know, of course it would be a female, but I'm saying just because I'm saying penis does not mean you you could be dealing with a female also who has a very high libido and they're just reckless. And I feel like it's catching up to them because this is like the the name of the song is Money Power Respect. I mean, you get the money and you get the power and then you have, you know, it, it all, it makes me think about Scarface and even he's saying that now I'm thinking about Tony. Also, someone could live in Montana or someone's name can be Montana. I'm hearing, I'm hearing that also because that's why I'm hearing that reference because I'm, you know, I'm hearing those names, but Tony or Anthony, I'm picking up also. Okay. I'm also hearing Antonia. Um, you know, this person could be just very reckless. And just constantly jumping into new endeavors, jumping into new situations. You got the fool card. That's major I kind of jump in, taking a leap of faith into something new. But also more than anything, I'm really picking up more than the general meaning of this. This person is foolish. They are being the fool. They have been the fool. They have acted a fool. And they're, they're paying for it now with a nine of wands. Okay. We are in the ninth month of this year in September and you literally you see how he has eight wands behind him I feel like this person really cut up pretty good during Leo season they had a grand old time and they're paying for it or they're getting ready to the next card that we see is the major arcana the star card wish fulfillment and healing I feel like there's this this person really gonna look okay so look at the cards you have major arcana the star card then you have major arcana the emperor so some of you guys can be doing with Aries, someone who has a Venus individual, but more than anything, remember I said money, power, respect. The emperor is a firm ruler, a king, somebody who is very arrogant, can be arrogant, halt, a bit of a know-it-all. You can't tell them anything. And now with it coming right next to this, this person is really going to need to do some healing because of some situations that they've put themselves into because of their arrogance. There's a, there's a subtle aloofness about this person. Like this person doesn't feel like they can do any wrong, but I feel like it's getting ready to catch up with them. You wouldn't have a star card or needing for a need for a wish fulfillment and healing if it wasn't something that required healing. So I feel like this person really has, you, I feel like you're getting ready to find out. Cause again, major arcana the hermit, Virgo energy. I feel like a lot of you guys are getting ready to find out about this during Virgo season. I feel like it's going to be towards the tail end of it. Cause you see how this um, passage is going towards it. It's like once they're not, because the view that we have right here, we're not completely at the end of this passage. So I feel like towards the end of Virgo season, a lot of you guys are getting ready to find out that this person is going through some difficulties and some, some diff. Okay, this is confirmation. The Hermit card in both decks, absolutely. Absolutely. Because if look at this, he has his head down. He's, I feel like this person is ashamed. So for some of you guys, you could definitely be dealing with a Virgo, someone rising Venus. And then for others, this is coming out during Virgo season. You're getting ready to find out this person literally is showing off like they have, they're living the wealth and abundance and rags, but really they're living in the energy of riches. They're coming off as, as though they're living in riches, but they're really in rags. But they, they're showing you a different thing. They're showing you something different than what's really going on in their life. And I feel like it's going to be with both of these cards, you know, the same one, the same, yeah. I feel like during Virgo season, you if you have not found out already, you're going to find out towards the very tail end of Virgo season that this person is very, man, they've done a number. I mean, I'm even, look at this, and I just picked this up randomly. <laughs> look at this. I, the cards are really facing down like this, and I just picked this up randomly. I'm also hearing like some type of judge, uh, judgment call or like some type of, um, what do you call it? judgment a judgment against them like a legal judgment against them ace of swords truth and clarity also about a victory like you could be winning a victory against this person so if you have some type of court proceedings between this situation with this individual you could be winning it i'm picking that up also or somebody could be winning something some type of judgment against your person i'm also picking up yeah as we part of the deck look at that look at this somebody who's presiding over ceremony some type of ruling some of you guys could have been finding out about multiple third parties. I feel like with this person, it was always some type of third party, some type of... This person just felt like they were the king or queen, always sitting on a pedestal. Like, you could not tell them anything. Money, power, respect. Look at this. This person has on their gold crown, their gold little key or whatever this thing is. You know, they literally felt like, right here, two keys, they felt like they always had a backup. 
But if you look at the next card, it's catching up with them. The Eight of Swords. I was telling you guys, sword up, that's yes, sword down, that's no. And the Eight of Swords is about being in your head mentally. Because sword is about communication. Also, the mental. I feel like something, there's some type of ruling against your person. And it's not going to go in their favor. Also, I'm hearing something about Libra season. Because swords that is Libra right after Virgo season is Libra season. I feel like something's going to come out. Look at that. Eight of Wands. Fast moving communication. Something coming out of the blue. Very quickly. And I feel like it started during... Um, Leo season, because the very next card we have is the Temperance card. You got fire here, and then you have Sagittarius as fire here also. So some of you guys could be dealing with Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is about temperance. Temperance is about balancing the skills. Also having patience. Somebody's going to be impatient with this situation. And also, it's going to take a lot of patience for you to deal with this situation. Because the next card I see right here is the Ten of Cups. So if you have children with this person, because you do have two children here, I feel like some of you guys are patiently waiting for some type of ruling. Possibly it could be child support, alimony, spouse support. Also, you could be patiently waiting for some type of um, results in regards to paternity. I'm hearing it also. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. So let's part of the deck randomly and shuffle. Yeah, ooh, same cards again. You guys seen there's 78 cards in this deck of tarot. So somebody's definitely needing to do some type of healing. And also someone is wishing and hoping and wishing for some type of reconciliation. This is also a card of Aquarius. So you could be dealing with Aquarius, someone who in Venus. You have Virgo and Aquarius here. Somebody is wanting some type of healing and reconciliation with you. Or you could be wanting with them because somebody definitely pulled back. Somebody, yeah, in the Tempest card, patience. Somebody was tired of waiting for someone to change their ways. Because some, there's an energy of arrogance. Very, very arrogant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Single woman, single man card. You see how she's facing the direction of one, two, three Pentacles, third party. Somebody found out about multiple third parties. You could be dealing also with someone who was born, even though this is Earth, I'm, you know, there's six Pentacles right here. You could be dealing with someone who was born in June. June 3rd or um, March 6th. I'm here. That can also be your placements. So let's get a general energy and then a possible outcome for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. Okay. At the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Ooh, I'm telling you, something's going on with finances. So you had a Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight in the whole deck of tarot. This person could be coming off as though they're a king or a queen of pentacles. And really their money is slow moving. Things are not really going in their favor. I feel like this you guys are dealing with somebody who is a show off. Because keep in mind, the name of the song is Money, Power, Respect. And we keep getting all this pinnacle energy. This person, okay, king of swords in reverse. Somebody who's not truthful. Bottom of the deck. Five of Wands, Tug of War, but it's in reverse. Somebody who's saying they don't want to fight anymore. Or somebody who's giving up. I feel like you could be giving up because upright, this person is fighting. These people are fighting. There's a tug of war. You could be giving up like, I'm, I'm tired of fighting. And that's what I'm getting. Because you have the King of Swords. Now, keep in mind, this came up in reverse. I'm just holding up right so you can see it. The King of Swords, look at him. Look at his expression. Ready to cut some shit off. Or cut somebody. Not physically, but hey. I don't know. But either way it goes, the king of swords, this is literally somebody who is like vigilant. Somebody who is like sure, certain of himself, and aggressive and assertive. Coming in reverse, again, sword up, yes, sword down, no. Keep in mind, sword is about communication, also mental. I really strongly feel like, you know, this person is no longer king. This person has been knocked off of their throne. And I feel like for some of you guys, it's like once you realize the truth about the situation, you feel like it's not even worth fighting for. This relationship isn't even worth fighting for anymore. Because they they don't have the status. Remember, I kept saying early on status. A king is a ruler. King has a status. And it's coming up in reverse. So this person no longer even has the status that they have. So for you, it could be like, what am I fighting for? What was keeping me in a situation was, you know, the comforts and, you know, what you were able to provide. You're not even able to do that anymore. Hmm. This arrogance is caught up with them. Page of Wands in reverse. Pages are always about communication. And it's coming up in reverse. 
And I feel like this is you also. So what I'm picking up with this is that you may have stayed in something because I'm hearing juvenile, okay? Because you see how this page is young. You could have met this person when you were fairly young, like your early 20s, even your teens, but your early 20s. But you you have outgrown the situation because keep in mind, we just seen the five of wands reverse. You are wands. You know, you can have outgrown the situation with this person because you're no longer young minded or young, you know, thinking about the past of, you know, the history that you have with this person. You're like, this is, yeah, yeah, you're done with this because you got the full card in reverse. Full card of right, taking a leap of faith into something new or taking a leap of faith back into a situation, hoping for the best. But I feel like you're done with this situation. Let's get a possible, I mean, a, um, additional message for you guys. Yeah, ooh, got it again. Stock card. Yeah, so a lot of you guys are healing on a personal level. Because like I said, I feel like you may have known this person for many years when you were very young. Or, you know, in your early 20s, you could have connected with this person or have been dealing with this person. But you're no longer young-minded. You know, you, you're no longer holding on to the thoughts or the idealisms that you had when you first met them because you've evolved and you're healing. Most definitely. Mm, yeah, most definitely. Because we got that twice. So let's part the deck so that we can shuffle. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. So you have, this is toxic. This situation with this person is toxic. And yeah, this person is toxic. This is, And remember I said earlier on, in the very beginning of reading, this cycle is ending. If you look at it right here, he has a scroll. It's like a contract, a karmic contract. This, and it's, it has flames on the tip of it. This this cycle is coming to an end with you and this person. And you could have felt bound by this, you know, to this individual. And I feel like it's, it had to do with finances for a lot of you all. But I feel like for a great deal of you all, you're like, you know what? This isn't even worth it. And it's the energy of Capricorn. Again, you have Aquarius here with the star card. And then you have Capricorn. Some of you guys can be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn. Some of and Venus. Yeah. It's coming to an end for a lot of you all. Now, if you're dealing with a Capricorn specifically, it's definitely coming to an end or it's already come to an end. Also, this could be an ending coming in Capricorn season in December or January. There could be some type of, um, like I said, I feel like there could be some type of court proceedings and it could, you could get some type of judgment in December or January. And I feel like it's going to go in your favor. At the bottom of the deck, you have the nine of wands. We had this earlier, right? Yeah, this person is struggling. And they're trying to hold themselves up. And they're trying to stay afloat. Also, I feel like you, because this is wands also. Because you could be dealing with another fire sign. It doesn't have to be fire signs. But I feel like this person is going to have to try to keep themselves afloat. Also, this could be you. Especially if this person was the primary breadwinner. You're suffering because of their lack of competency also. Their ability to be responsible is what I'm hearing. So let's get a clarifier for the king of swords in reverse. Look at that. Hmm. Wow. Eight of wands in reverse. Wow. And right up under that, you had a nine of pentacles in reverse and then a moon card. Moon card, major arcana, that's about things unseen, things unknown, things we don't have clarity about upright. In reverse, there's clarity about a situation. And I feel like the nine of pentacles, right? She has this abundance. She, this single woman, single man, but this person is surrounded by money, abundance, and reverses the opposite. So I'm going to tell you again, a lot of you all are getting ready to find out that this person is not as well off as they come off to be in, in their, yeah, you're going to find out about it. So for your general energy, you had a king of swords in reverse being clarified by the eight of wands in reverse. Swords is always about communication. And so is the eight of wands, fast moving communication coming in. I feel like this person is not telling you. This person's not telling you that they have some... I'm hearing... I'm really hearing legal trouble. And I feel like it is going to affect you, especially if you live with this person and they pay the majority of the bills. I feel like it's going to affect you. And some of you all, you can't move away from this person with the six of swords in reverse. You can't move away from this person right now because financially you may not be able to. Yeah, because I'm hearing that you guys could be affected by their decisions also. Their arrogance has put everyone... In a bit of a bind. <laughs> and as I'm saying, I'm hearing, I'm laughing because um, what's the movie Set It Off? When Jada Pinkett's character said, she called Nate and said, Nate, I'm in a bind. So some of you guys can be dealing with someone whose name is Nate or Nathaniel. Okay, you guys seen that flip? Yep. You're getting ready to find out some things. So some of you guys could be, yeah, 
this person is in a bind. I'm hearing it. And set it off. Jada Pinkett's um, character. She calls Nate and says, Nate, I'm in a bind because this man who's like a sugar daddy or whatever, in order for her, you know, he'll provide her whatever she wants for some type of sexual gratification or something like that. And I'm not saying that that's your situation, but I'm just saying I heard that phrase. But the sheer fact is I'm in a bind. This person is in a bind and they're putting you in a bind because of their escapades. But I, again, I feel like for, for you guys, right, the three of wands, future looking, moving to the future, you're going to come out okay. This other person, not so much. Because you see how you have this yellow, this bright glow, this joyous, yellow is vibrancy, joy, happiness. Future looking for you, because again, you are wands. You're going to be well off. This other person is not. So for your possible outcome, you have a page of wands in reverse. And then you have mm -hmm, the moon card in reverse. Again, upright is about things unknown, things unseen, things that you don't have clarity about. There's clarity. You're getting clarity. You're no longer like young-minded about a situation. And again, that's not an attack on you saying like you're immature, but it's like you may not have really been seeing things for what they truly are. And now you have no choice but to see it. And also keep in mind, as I'm doing this read right now, it is currently the new moon in Virgo. So some of you guys, I always tell you guys three days before, during, and three days after a full or a new moon, a lot of illumination could be coming to the situation. Some truths are being exposed. So within the next three days, you could be finding out about this. If you don't know about it already, within the next three days, you'll be finding out. And for some of you guys, you could have found out about three days ago that this person has this, this, this is just hella drama. You have four cards here on the table and all of them are reversed. This person just has hella drama. It's like whatever they've been doing in their life. I mean, like a rock star life, you know. This person was a rock star in their own sense. I'm also hearing something about a CEO. This person could have been a CEO. And some type of, ooh, some type of drama was going on in the workplace where it was like some type of scandal. I'm hearing scandal. Okay, and as I'm saying scandal, the show scandal, president... You know, it's about the president of the United States. So this person could be a CEO or president of an establishment. And just as I said, at the time was 222 confirmation for somebody, most definitely. And some type of scandal knocked this person off of their pedestal. The king, the leader, someone who has a position of power, knocked them off their pedestal. Yep. Some type of scandal, most definitely. And it's affecting you also. But I feel like you're going to come out positively because I feel like you're going to be another blow to this person's pocket because... I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be walking away from this individual once once the shit hits the fan is what I'm picking up. Okay? So, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.